Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at again with another New York Giants update video. First and foremost, I hope you guys are staying safe out there and washing your hands, keeping it clean and all that. With the uh, lockdown basically extended, we have no idea how it's gonna go, so just stay safe out there guys. Oh, and don't forget to wear your masks. My mom let me know to let you guys know to not forget to wear your masks. All to stay safe. <laughs> With that out of the way, guys, let's get on to what I'm here to talk about today. Now, this is partially connected to a report that came out yesterday with Bill's uh, general manager, Brandon Bean, at least I think he's their general manager. Let me double check right now, yep. Who did work under Dave Gellman previously in Carolina. And you know, several other Giants creators report on this. Uh, Kid Blue being the main one that I know of, did a really good job with that. By the way, on draft night, should everything go as planned, I will be on Kid Blue's channel for live reactions to the draft. So keep that in mind, guys. Remember to tune in for the live stream on Kid Blue's channel this Thursday, draft night. So he, you know, he spoke on this saying, um, Brandon Bean saying, you can't trust him. Dave's a smart man. He's throwing all the curveballs out there. And then he's referring to Gettleman's viral home office photo. He's actually pretty tech savvy. Don't let him fool you in all seriousness. And this was something talked about yesterday. So I'm not gonna get into it. What I am gonna get into is, um, this is by a tweet that I saw today, linking back to an article back in 2014 when Gettleman was the general manager of Carolina, basically as supporting evidence to what Bean said, because in 2014, Dave Gettleman did not do a regular draft. He did a virtual draft because on that draft day, he was uh, at his son's graduation, his son's college graduation. So he did the draft from his hotel room. So he did everything remotely and virtually. And I'm reading this from an article back in 2014 by David Yoon saying that he even remotely talked through a trade that sent Carolina's fifth and seventh round picks to Minnesota in order to move up 20 spots and select San Jose State cornerback Bean Benwicker with the 148 pick, all thanks to the wonderful world of Skype. So Gettleman has been completely, at least it looks like intentionally, throwing curveballs out there, as Bean has said, in order to kind of fool the media and maybe even other you know NFL teams about you know what's going on with the Giants' war room and how he's approaching everything. Because let's be honest. The media, especially New York media and Giants fans in general, seem to think that Dave Gettleman is somebody that has no idea how to work a computer, even turn a computer on. Now, I, I never really commented on it because I thought, you know, people just joking around. And when this quote came out, I was actually a bit surprised that he was throwing curveballs, you know, intentionally. But at the same time, I'm like, it makes sense. In this day and age, it is kind of rare to see a very old school type general manager you know the only one that comes to mind is Belichick and that's because he's a master at doing it his way in that way Gettleman I'm sure still has a lot of strategies and a lot of things that he does in the old school way by paper and pen by books by the binder like I, I do think that binder was actually real that thing was too thick to not be filled with like loads of information and in some ways it's safer than doing it by the computer virtually because, you know, who knows what could happen, who knows how encrypted this virtual draft is going to be, how safe it's going to be from anybody, you know, with nefarious intentions. We don't know. So, in a way, that is safer. But this right here kind of gives Gettleman a leg up on everybody else in the draft right now, or at least everybody else that we know of. The fact that he, conduct he conducted an entire day of the NFL draft five years ago, because technology moves fast, especially with video conferencing technology. Five years ago, Skype is not compared to what they're going to be using today with Zoom. So he used it with a older software, with what I would assume would be, you know, a harder uh, virtual war and draft room to work with, and all his staff in Carolina, and it worked fine. Continuing with the article, this is a quote from Gettleman saying that it worked fine. It really did. There was no guilt. And he did say, you know, you always want to think optimistically and just hope that it's going to work electronically. There were times where it was a little choppy in terms of the video, which like I said, five years ago, Skype is probably not that great compared to what Zoom is today. And then he said, this is a life event. 
and I never would have done this if it was just I don't feel like coming in on Saturday so I'm going to visit my family. This was one of the things that I believed I needed to do and it worked out fine. It really did. Commenting on why he had to miss the physical draft, you know, being there with the rest of his staff and, um, you know, scouts and uh, coaches and whatnot and why he had to do it virtually. So I just wanted to bring this up. I know a lot of people already talked about the quote itself from uh, Brandon Bean. But this was a tweet I saw today that linked to an article from five years ago that supports it great. Lee Gelman, at least to my knowledge, is the only person, only general manager in the draft right now that has actually done a virtual draft before. And I think this is a really good sign for the Giants. Let me know what you all think. A quick short video and I'm out. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.